Hi and welcome back to a new art journaling video. Today I decided to pick the Neo Color 2 crayons instead of my watercolors to create an art journal page. I am working in the art journal from Kunst und Papier and I just start by scribbling the crayon over the page. I am very sorry for the autofocus. I have no idea why um, this is happening. Maybe my hand is too big and so the camera is not sure where to focus on. But I think when I'm painting with the brush there is no issue. I'm just blending the crayon with the water and I play with it like watercolor. The crayons are a bit more opaque than watercolors and they are maybe also a bit more chalky. They are working really good on this watercolor paper, but I believe you have to try that out. I have some 100% cotton watercolor paper laying here, with, which is hot press. And there they don't really work, because they don't dissolve 100%. For crayons, I believe a cheaper watercolor paper might be better, not 100% cotton and also better cold press than hot press. And you see, I also make some marks with the crayon directly into the wet areas. I really like the texture you get with them and I also love to play. It's almost like a child painting and scribbling on the paper without any plan and with no pressure. I can't tell you exactly the names of the colors I have because you see that my crayons are used a lot and um, a lot of them are broken and I don't have any paper wrapping and it's also a bit hard to see the number or the name on the crayons when they are used. And what you have to take care of a little bit is not to overwork your paper with scribbling and making it wet because the area where I am now with the yellow starts to to um, to destroy the paper a little bit and then the crayons don't blend that good anymore. So for more layers it's always important to let the paper fully dry and then come back in. I want to give it more contrast and I'm searching for the right color to go in and I decided to pick this dark blue and I just scribble into the wet areas and I try to do it a bit slow because then the pigment that comes off the crayon is more intense. If you like these abstract painting videos, you will find a lot of them already on my channel. Mainly I'm playing with watercolors and crayons and watercolor pencils. I just want to share that you can do the same, almost the same, with just these water-soluble crayons. Another way of using the crayons is to scribble them onto a glass plate or onto a non-porous surface where you can pick it up from and I do this um, above my journal and then take water and pick the color up and you can paint with them just like watercolors.
Next I'm picking two colors and mix them together. It's a brownish color and I believe I'm using the orange and I'm just mixing these on my glass plate and then I can paint with them. I switched my brush to a smaller size and I just make some different marks with it. This kind of original painting um, is something I can do every day and whenever I need some time out or whenever I need some creative time. I let the page dry completely before I come back and play with it again. I wanted to intensify the dark area so I'm adding a second layer of the dark blue. And I'm doing the same with that orangey color. And as I said, I'm just playing intuitively. I have no, no rules for these pages and also no goal where the pages are going to end. And I never have a plan um, before I start. The painting emerges while I'm creating. Often the only thing I know um, are the colors with which I want to play but this time I even didn't know that I just started with that green and I picked the colors um, after each other I don't know I uh, was not in the mood to pick a certain color scheme and to search for the right crayon I just wanted to play I now heat set this with my heat tool and then I come back and add some more elements and texture. I decided to pick a stamp from the craft collection number three and at first I planned to just stamp it randomly and more often on the page but then I thought it looks like um, kind of a leafy flower thing and I could create something with it so I'm just stamping three of them and I will come in with the Posca paint pen and draw around the tiny leaves and create kind of a grain. Before I do that I want to add some more texture in the yellow areas and I'm picking an orange color for stamping and also a simple texture stamp. Of course, you can also make these marks with a watercolor pencil. 
I'm inking the stamp up only once and then press it down a few times so I get different shades. And here you see me going in with the Posca paint pen and I will speed this part up a little bit because it's a very slow process and it takes a while to do all the mark making. I'm redrawing these elements because I want to have more white and sometimes the stamping color bleeds a bit into the Posca paint pen so I add a second layer and it's also my paint pen I believe it's running empty it's already a little bit watery and that's the reason why I'm shaking it pretty often and I just push the nib that I get more of the color. To finish my page up I just wanted to add some splatters and therefore I also can use the Neo colors and I just scribble them onto my glass plate and then make some splatters with them. And that's my finished page for today. I think um, I would prefer different colors, but I really like the layout of it. And I will maybe come back and recreate this page with different colors and also with my watercolors. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see us next time. Bye!